All right, so we're about to head out on a uh, adventure. Mom and Dad are taking Ren in with the Husky over to the trails we're gonna ride in, and I'm gonna try to stuff everything I can into my fanny packs that I outfitted the bike with. And I have this fanny pack up here. This one's a bar bag from Thrill Seekers, and I like keeping my cell phone in this one for quick grab. But I can put my wallet up there too. That's about all. I'll put up there. Sunglasses fit up there good too, but I think we'll go with the sunglasses back here. Uh, the GoPro batteries. They can go maybe right in there. These extra straps. We can use these to strap the GoPro on. And of course, it's critical that you see this rear grab bar. That's. Uh, piece that's going to make all this work. I got that from TB Parts. This is going to be a pretty rugged trail ride, so hopefully these little straps do their thing and keep it all latched in. Alright, can't say that it ain't going nowhere, but hopefully it stays there. So we'll leave that stuff there. Hello boys. Now, I think we're about ready to head out. All right, so got Renan. He's gonna come with me on this voyage, right? Yeah. Ready for it? And we're gonna track our ride. So I got my river app here, and we're gonna start it now. Okay. You ready? All right. So we're trying to accomplish a couple of things on this video shoot today, uh, mainly to put the Honda Monkey through the test of uh, some hard off-road. They did this last year with the Trail 125, and it was a really cool trail with the river crossing, not a river, but creek crossing, and some really challenging obstacles, and the trail did it. So this year I wanted to see if the Monkey could do it. I'm sure it can, but I just wanted to see how hard it would be. And then we got Renan over there on his EE5, which is an amazing, amazing, work of art for a machine i can't say enough about that bike and he wanted to go on this trip with us last year picking our way through here all right oh there was an easier way there whoops all right first challenge two logs okay not much of a challenge running through i'm going to be looking back a lot because Checking on Renan. I don't run mirrors on my monkey. Um, probably should for stuff with, especially riding with him. But just kind of find him annoying. I like to treat this bike as a aggressive little rider. So, all right. Like I was saying, I did this last year with the Trail 125, and wanted to try it this year with the monkey. But we don't know if we're going to be able to get through. Last year, I noticed there was a lot of trees down, and this year looks like. A similar story. So, oh, oh, that caught me pretty good, didn't it? Okay. All right. Well, that was an interesting little thing. I was talking. wasn't really concerned about that sapling there that was down, and it grabbed my kickstand and swung me around almost tossed me off the bike right off the bat all right so let me start over so last year 125 did these trails and it was pretty fun and I uh, went home and told Renan about it said there's a creek crossing and a lot of mud and good stuff and he immediately said well I want to go do it and uh, yeah I said yeah okay well it was pretty late in our vacation and didn't get the opportunity to bring him up so promised him we'd do it next year so here we are the next year can do the same thing 
looks like the mud is as goopy as ever. So he's much more capable on his bike than mine. That EE5 is absolutely amazing. It goes through everything. And the monkey, I've been able to get through everything, but it's uh, obviously not made for this. And that's kind of what's fun about it is you're really challenging yourself more than anything trying to put a bike that's not made for what you're trying to do and trying to do those things but uh, the monkey does pretty good the only problem i've ever no not ever but oh the main problem i've had has been with the foot pegs this thing just the foot pegs are not made for what we're doing here so all right we got a little bit of an obstacle here. I think I see a way through. Oh, I was thinking the hard way. I was gonna go that way, but obviously this way is easier, so. <laughs> and I'm gonna get whacked by more than fair share of branches. This oh, we got a dry creek, oh, not dry creek, but makeshift creek bed there. Sometimes on these walking trails, when it rains, they turn into a uh, creek, well, creeks basically. And yeah, this is this is gonna be a trip full of down trees. I feel we have friends that live down the road from this, and they were saying that it, probably gonna be a lot of trees down because the uh, harsh winter they had up here in upstate New York. So that's no surprise, well. I think at this point last year, the tree that's right there wasn't cut. Nah, that's more than a year's worth of age on that stump, so. Oh, yeah. It's like, I don't know. It's hard to tell if anybody came through these trails yet. Or if we're the first. I'm sure we can't be the first, so. I'm sure they're used as a snowmobile trail in the winter, too. It's usually how it goes here, upstate New York. All right, so far so good. Ooh, yeah. I'm a little bit weary now after getting grabbed by that first sapling. See, so see where this whole thing becomes a little river, probably in the spring when the snow melt happens. There's water probably rushing down this whole thing. That'd be a fun time to go down this. Probably on a dual sport bike though. Probably not a, on the monkey. <laughs> Although, if you're competent enough, you can get down basically anything with anything. I've seen some pretty wild videos from India and Thailand and stuff with people taking like old CB350s through stuff. So I don't get too proud of myself for doing any of this on a Honda Monkey with big old knobby dirt tires and old and suspension, decent rear shocks. All right. Oh, so. The creek bed area looks like it's kind of past a little bit. Oh, Got a silver Bring it up here. How you doing so far? Good. Is it hard? Is it hard? It was pretty rough, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, you're on a race bike with good suspension. How do you think I feel? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's continue. So it doesn't look steep on the GoPro. I've noticed that about a lot of my videos from up here. Um, but you could tell I'm not even on the gas and it, the engine is basically breaking me. So the grade is a little bit steeper than it looks on the video. But once again, I'm not trying to brag about anything I'm doing here. Just kind of want to try to offer some perspective to go with the video that probably doesn't show the perspective like it should. Go to some kind of single track sort of grassy stuff this I said last year going through this part is my least favorite because I never know what's underneath it yep this is it pretty epic huh that's not the creek crossing I just want to get I want to uh, under promise and over deliver Almost did that without dabbing my foot. 
What's that? We're going up a river. Yeah, basically. He's been looking forward to this creek crossing so much since I talked about it. And it was pretty cool last year. I'll put a link to my trail video from last year. Oh, all right. Look, there's some nice mud for you. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> that little EE5. Such a good bike. If you have kids that ride and they're reaching the stage of a fast 50 size bike, running seven and he fits it perfectly. But anywhere from, I'd say, late four, if you have a tall four year old, to up to 100 pounds basically uh, that bike is just absolutely phenomenal for the kid and the parent more so it just provides such a little amount of maintenance and you just basically charge it and go and clean the chain so yeah basically the only thing you know just keep your eye on the chain and other than that it's a perfect bike I, i'm very very satisfied with my investment in that all right we got a big uphill going you want to go faster it's, I think it's kind of smooth. You ready? Ah, oh, man, I keep slipping off of these pegs. I think this is what you're looking for. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is that more like it? Yeah. It's deep enough for fish. I see fish in there. <laughs> All right, so we've reached the uh, destination of our journey running. This is what you wanted to see. You wanted to go through this with your EE5, right? Now I went through it last year with my trail and uh, it was it was pretty cool. So you want to go check it out first? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's not that deep. Um, if you go to that side, it's deep, but not that deep. I, so look, I think I saw some little fish in there even. So this is a pretty nice, typical upstate New York creek, all right? What you doing up there? Don't fall in, you'll have wet boots all week. <laughs> oh, a bunch of ants in that one. You're gonna have ants in your pants. All right, so I see some fish. How deep do you think that is? I don't think it's, I know how deep that part is because I went through it with the trail last year. It didn't go above the air box, so that means it's probably about this deep for you in that part. Okay. Okay? So, <laughs> what I would suggest for you, obviously, we can go through it several times, but start on the shallow side over there to the right. Go through that and then keep working your way. You can go turn around, you can come back. Is there more No, this is it. This is it. So, all right, well, let's get some cameras set up and get some footage of it, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll go first. I have, look, we have about the same height. My air filter is right here, and I'd prefer you to not, like, go over the battery pack and stuff. Let's make sure this cap is on there so if I go through and I'm okay you're gonna go through and be okay okay I'm gonna go through the shallow part and then come back through a little bit deeper of a part ready put your goggles on before you go
I did this last year. I know which way to go. He, he's obviously nervous, which is <laughs> fair to understand. Okay. See? Not bad, huh? I didn't want to get my foot wet. Huh? Think so? Look, look how nice and clean my wheels are now. Okay, Honda Monkey said no problem. Q Creek Crossing Montage now. And after that, I have two wet feet to speak for. Oh, an untied shoelace. That's no bueno. Take care of that. So we basically tested the Monkey and the EE5 and their ability to go through water. Obviously, anything is going to go through water if the air filter is up high enough. So we knew it was going to do it. But it's just fun to go do. The E 5 was kind of the real water test. You know, we know, obviously, too. It's an electric bike. What? I'm ready to go. Ready to go? Okay. So, the E5 being an electric bike, it's always kind of a what if on if you can get it wet or not, right? But um, it can handle a decent amount of water. You just don't want to, obviously, sit submerged anywhere in anything electronic, kind of. But then you look at, like, GoPros. They can submerge and stuff, so... I'm not comparing the E5 to a GoPro, but, you know, I think they seal it out pretty good from water. But there's always been that concern from the E5 owners about water and washing it and stuff. And we just kind of wanted to put it to the test in a real world, rugged trail environment. So we did. All right, so we're going through some pretty rugged seat bouncing type stuff here. And I like to stand up when I ride through this stuff. I'm a dirt bike rider and racer. and for me, it's about standing up and, you know, getting over the bumps and using my legs as suspension as well. And I just can't do that on the Monkey. The pegs are way too slippery. The pegs are rubber and they don't have any, like, grip to them. They're made for the street. So obviously, you know, it's not going to do what it needs to do for me doing this stuff. And that's understandable. It's not a knock or a flaw. It's just that I'm doing stuff that this bike's not designed to be doing. So if you're going to do this sort of stuff, uh, definitely invest in some foot pegs because once your feet get muddy or wet, you're slipping off these pegs. So I sit down on this bike a lot more than I really want to. I like standing up. I can stand up on the trail 125 because it has um, spiky pegs after I took out the rubber inserts. They're perfect. I'm actually going to see if that works on this bike. See if I can swap over the trail 125 pegs onto this bike and that would solve that there's really not too many aftermarket options uh, for the honda monkey or the grom even 
the two brothers has a racing peg or whatever and it's yeah it's really creaky so two brothers pegs i have them for the grom and they're okay but they're not like walk-in type motocross style like that ee5 has or even the trail i figured the trail 125 has some of the best oem pegs outside of a racing dirt bike that i felt so they're pretty impressive i just want to see if they go on this bike um but yeah i mean the monkey is fun uh obviously i've outfitted this one with parts to make this stuff possible uh the, the there's several things that work together to make this a fun experience i mean you can do this on a stock monkey yeah sure i mean you're gonna maybe not have the best time you're gonna be slipping and sliding and the gearing's not gonna be ideal and uh you know it's it's one of those things where it's like i'm not saying you can't go off-roading with the stock monkey but there's going to be some work you need to do to make it a fun experience um and that's why this is kind of like an all-country test right i mean we're putting it to the test on some really rugged trails and i'm telling you you can do it i'm showing you you can do it but there's some parts that help do it easier is uh really what i'm getting at and i did a video about that already so i'm not going to dwell on it but the the parts of this bike that you're going to find failure with on the trail are going to be the stock tires the foot pegs and the front forks um, the only thing i have remaining stock of those three are the foot pegs and um, the front forks are the olin's inserts and that's game changer if not for those i'd be bottoming out on almost every one of these sharp edged obstacles and the rear shocks definitely is one of the first things you should upgrade to even if you're just a heavier rider so but yeah i mean the seat's comfortable so at least bouncing off all these rocks my rear end ain't killing me it's a nice cushy seat so and obviously if you want to go through mud investing in a set of shinko mobbers are going to be where you want to want to be at there stick didn't huh yeah, I just didn't want to get the stick in my face. You got goggles. I got my visor open. So this part of the uh, Honda Monkey All Country test, like I did with the trail, is uh, pretty simple. Like, yeah, I can, I can do the trails. It's fun, um, but do yourself a favor and uh, add some mods to it. Spend a little money on your monkey. Make this an even more fun experience. Uh, I'll probably list the mods down in the description, but if I had to do the top five, first thing I'm telling you is to get some tires. Definitely go get some tires. All right, so there's uh, the swamp that this, what's going on? So here's the swamp that this hiking trail uh, leads to, and there's not much of a spectacle down here, really. It's uh, just kind of something to go do get some trials riding going oh good through this yeah all right oh 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 that was a bad idea wasn't it i'm stuck in a tree <laughs> look so the uh okay the brake and the kickstand are stuck in the tree so let's lift this guy up oh that is a huge problem hold on oh all right let me roll out of here and i'll help you how in the world did that happen you got it out oof Wow. All right, so I guess we know that going through a V tree isn't too good, right? All right, you good?
back it up a little bit so you're off the log and then now we'll give it a little bit of a run there you go that's it all right so pick your pick your course ahead you pick your course ahead I'll go ahead and show you maybe a decent way to go through Oh my goodness. That got caught on the passenger pegs I put on. That's probably not the best mod for off-roading. Oof. All right. This is the swamp. This is the whole trail, the whole objective of the trail. It's quite the spectacle, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that was a pretty rough patch to go down. Going back up might be a little bit more difficult. So, yeah, maybe let's go. Let's go plan our route up. You think? Here, hop off. You haven't even gone through one bar of battery yet. All right, so we marked out our ascent back up to the trail. Put our GoPro way up there. See if we can't get some footage of us coming up. Hopefully we don't go the wrong way, but we marked it out, right? Okay, you ready? Can we do it? Yeah. All right, so it's easy to get lost in a forest bed like this. Oh, it's got my brake. It's got my brake. It's these little saplings and trees and stuff like that. It's a pain. I'm just going to go straight over this sucker here. Oh, we missed our turn already. There we go. There we go. And it's over there. There's GoPro. This is going to be the tough part. Oh, yeah. Think we're lost? Yeah? Well, which way did we come down? Straight? So we know that the trail's got to be that way, right? The trail's got to be that way, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll figure it out.
baby. Well, the kid wasn't entirely wrong. Not lost, but it didn't certainly go down the same way as, or certainly didn't come up the same way as it went down. <laughs> Wow. Huh? Well, you weren't wrong. We weren't lost, but we didn't go down the same, or come up the same way we went down, did we? Yeah, it was right there the whole time. It was right there? I think it was over there. Yeah, it was over there. Oh well. Okay. Check over your bike. Anything caught? I, I got a lot of sensor wires and stuff getting yanked on here. All good? Okay. So let's go. Alright, so that was one of the more difficult things that we've done so far. Not the river crossing or the creek crossing. And Oh, that's where we went. That's where we went down. So it wasn't really the creek crossing or the deep mud or rocks or anything. It was kind of that pine barren section there that was more difficult than anything else because it's just hard to see where you're going and there's a lot of sticks sticks and logs are going to be the nemesis of your trail ride and uh, it's pretty important to uh, you know kind of jump over them or know how to get over them or around them at least but nonetheless we made it through all right i think i'm going to switch to a time lapse here and finish out the rest of this trail and we'll turn around at the end and talk about some stuff on the way back. Technical stuff here. That's the first time he's fell down on this whole trip. Pretty good. You're seven years old. That was a tough section. Yeah? Hit your brake. There you go. You're going to eat it again if you go off that ledge. You okay? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Uh-oh. You okay? Bike's on your foot. I'm trying to pick it up. You okay? Yeah. It was on your boot. It wasn't on your foot. Oh, now you're down to two bars. What the heck is going on here? Hi deer. See the deer? What you doing deer? Well, you did it. Now you want to swim in the pool? <laughs> How long did it take us? Let's do a review. We did six miles and it's almost been an hour and a half. So that was pretty good. All right, want to ride back? All right, so. That was some pretty nasty stuff that we just threw at the monkey. Uh, that's exactly what I wanted to see if it can handle. 
and I knew it would, but just see how it handled it, and um, pretty wild ride there. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, uh, leave a comment, let me know what you thought. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and uh, please subscribe if you like what I'm doing. That helps me out the most. So thanks for watching, and uh, check out some more stuff here from upstate New York.